we are given that modulus of fx minus fy is less than equal to modulus of x minus y whole cube. This implies that modulus of fx minus fy upon x minus y is less than equal to modulus of x minus y whole square. Now take the limit of both sides as x tends to y. If the left hand side is equal to the limit x tending to y modulus of fx minus fy upon x minus y and this is less than equal to the limit as x tends to y of modulus of x minus y whole square. Now the left hand side is equal to modulus of f dash y and the right hand side is equal to 0 because x minus y whole square tends to 0 as x tends to y. This implies that modulus of f dash y is less than equal to 0. However, we know that the modulus of a number is always greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, modulus of f dash y is greater than or equal to 0. These two conditions can be satisfied together only when modulus of f dash y is equal to 0, which is possible only when f y is a constant, which is the required answer.